energy, okay, perception of energy. It gives you force, okay? One is a trickle of energy because you can't be here without energy. One is a trickle, one is a flood. But even in the trickle, the godliness is. Everyone that comes into this world after a certain point only has a trickle. It's like an old man trying to pee. And trust me, I know I, I know about I know about that. <laughs> it's a trickle. Okay. <laughs> it's there. Okay. To be totally open. Now what it is an indication of generally in our life, the stresses and the tensions from, that we create in the body from here only allows a certain amount of energy to flow through because we do have these moralistic ideas and stuff, the tension in our body that makes us not totally alive and makes us not totally receiving the energy that is what we are and what God is. Okay? Now as we let go of those things, the energy flows. Totally. If you notice, I don't, I don't know, some of you have been here for a long time, right? Mm -hmm. How many times have I damn near died? A lot. Yeah. A lot. I mean, wow. it was like that. <laughs> and all of a sudden, it's like an old joke man was dying and he called his wife to his bedside he said dear promise me that when I'm dead there will never be another man silence <laughs> you, you can't promise me that no dear I can't <gasps> well I'm not going to die <laughs> <laughs> You see that shot of energy, we're like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm constantly looking for is that shot of energy. And for me, that shot of energy is a look on somebody's face when they get it. You know, I'm a teacher. The thing that thrilled me the most as a teacher was when a kid went, oh, I got it. It's like, yeah. Okay. Life gives you that, those shots. It gives it to you if you're willing to accept it. We can't be moralistic. And I'm talking about morals in terms of the way the great percentage of people perceive it. There's a natural morality. And then there is an intellectual morality. This is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong. You all know that in your life, mom and dad told you certain things that were moral, you tried to live by it and you couldn't. You just couldn't because it wasn't your knowledge. It was something from outside. You struggle with this. You thought you were going to hell. Okay. That is moralistic. You have to guide them because you want them to push limits. Because that's how they're going to find out their strength. That's how they're going to find out who they are. That's how they're going to know. You want them pushing that limit. Once they push that limit, something else happens.